Hey Opa, today we're going to do some mid-side processing for mastering a track. I've got a track loaded up here that I recorded with one of my students, the ukulele version of Africa by Toto. You get the idea. It's been gently leveled off already, but um, I'd like to try some mid-side processing with this, just to bring out the detail in uh, sort of the quiet instruments there. It's only ukulele and percussion. Uh, so I've got a bit of faffing about to do first, so let's do that. Let's get faffing. First thing I'm going to do is copy this track by Control C, and then uh, paste to new Control Shift N. I think you can do copy to new as well. There we go. And I'm going to do effects, amplitude, channel mixer, and in the menu here there's LR to mid side. That's left, right to mid side. I'm going to click on that. Everything in Cool Edit takes a little bit of time. So I hope you're in no rush. If you've got a little beard to stroke, then that's good. Okay, here we go. So the top one here is the mid side, and the bottom is the sides. Uh, so that's the left channel for the mid and the right channel for the sides. I can tell that because of the volume difference. The sides is always a little bit uh, quieter volume. So I'm going to select the uh, right side of this. If you click some like just generally anywhere it's not going to select it. You have to take your cursor to over to the uh to the top of the uh to the top of the screen there and a little L will pop up but that's for left. So select that. That'll just select that channel. So I can do control A and that'll select just the left side. And then we'll do edit I'll do a copy to new. This should copy it out to a mono track. Yes, and I'm going to save that file. Save as. Uh, let's do mid. Mid. Uh, save. PCM. Rav. Yep. So that's that saved. I'm going to go back to the mid and sides thing, and if I move my mouse down to the bottom, a little R will appear. I'll click that and do Control A to select all that. And edit, copy to new, and this should copy it out to a mono track like that. So far, I'll save this as sides left. So, uh, adds L. Save. I'm going to get this, I'm going to control A that and to select it all and copy to new, edit, copy to new. I'm going to invert the phase on this, so effects invert. This will flip the phase of it 180 degrees, so it just looks like it's going to go like that. Take a look at that. I think that did it then. Did that do it? Yeah. So then I'll um, save that as sides right. But we're still not done yet. We're going to take the sides channels, both those sides channel, into the multi track editor, which is just here, this button in the corner. Switch to multi track view. So it's F12 or that little button. Select both those tracks by holding down the up key and then press this little button here for insert into multi-track. There they go, they're inserted. And I'll just get rid of that for a minute. I haven't zeroed this. Okay, so I'll select both those again by pressing control and left clicking and drag in with the right mouse button, click and drag. If I've done this right, this should be 
cancelling each other out. There should be no volume. There we go. Uh, now to hear it again, I'm just going to pan this channel out to the right because that's besides right. And channel this out to the left because that's the sides left. And we should hear something now. And that sounds a bit weird, but that's what we want. So um, now we need to mix down those files out, all waves, to a uh, stereo track. And that is going to be our sides channel. It needs to be a stereo track. So there we have it. That's the stereo track. I'm going to save that. Save as. I'm going to do this one as just sides. I just spelled wrong. So, uh, so there you go. So we've got a mid channel now, and then a sides channel, a proper sides channel. I'm going to go back into the multi-track view. Let's get rid of these and zero the desk. And insert the oops, insert the mid and the sides like that. Try again. Now this should just sound exactly like the left and right version. So let's just pull that in as a comparison. Here we go. This is left and right. This is sides. flip in between them there you can't tell any difference at all and you shouldn't be able to we've just split it up into uh, a mid channel which is just this on its own and this is the sides and if you combine those two together um, it creates like that left and right effect but what this means practically is that you can just affect the sides which are the sides in your headphones or the mid channel which contains all the um, sort of the kick drum, the voice, the uh, bass guitar all that kind of thing but a, a, a good technique really is just to sort of leave the mid side unaffected so you get all the power of the kick drum and the bass and all that kind of stuff and the, the sides you can uh, compress a little bit so that the you can hear the detail a little bit more in the sides and it will uh, bring the level of your track up a little bit too so let's just do that I'm going to compress in fact I'm just going to squash the sides so you can tell so let's do amplitude and then dynamics processing sorry I'll, I'll go back a step I clicked on effects there which is just this channel just this little button here sorry and amplitude dynamics processing and I think I've already got this set up with like a really squashy um, curve there. So let's go into that, apply that. So this is just the size, you hear it mega squashed. Already that's got loads more energy to it. So let's just do that. This is the original. To me, the shaker on the left-hand side sounds like it's dancing around a bit, and I quite like that because it's going. Shh, 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 shh. It just sounds like it's to the left of me here. Uh, yeah, so that's 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 nice. Is 
So there's that. Um, now you can see the implications of this. You can do any kind of processing on the sides. You might want to darken, uh, darken the sides down and uh, leave the mid-channel uh, sort of more EQ free. You might want to just EQ the kick drum and the bass, that kind of thing. You might want to take the uh, take some bass out of the sides to leave more headroom for the mid-channel. You can do all sorts of different things in mid side processes, and it's it's very um, uh, it's a very sort of creative tool as well. But uh, it's a very useful tool, uh, especially like modern music with the a lot of the bass instruments down the centre. You can really focus that bass attention down the centre, which is great if you mix into vinyl and all sorts of things like that. So, um, all available in Cool Edit Pro. Uh, you can do it in any door, but it, it's certainly possible in Cool Edit Pro to do this kind of processing. It just takes a little longer, but that's how you set it up. That's how you um, uh, that's how you separate out your mid and your sides. You can do this with um, mastering, as I've said, with uh, uh, doing it as a whole track, or you can do it um, using individual tracks as well. If you've got stereo. Um, a stereo track, you can always split things out into a mid and side channel and do things uh, for instance like a keyboard or something like that you can always do mid side processing uh, on individual tracks as well so really versatile tool okay so if you've got any questions or comments about what I've just done there please leave them below uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can um, this video is for my uh, Cool Edit Pro Facebook group. I'll leave a link to that as well. Uh, so we're just answering any questions uh, in that group and helping people along to learn this fantastic program, which is Cool Edit Pro, uh, which is still available out there in the internet sphere. Um, and it's such a versatile and fantastic program that uh, you could use it uh, for anything. I've done some uh, fantastic recordings with it. It's really versatile and uh, uh, more people should use it really because it's great and I still use it. Even though I've got other doors I still use this for uh, a few things just because it's quick and it's easy and um, um, just as versatile as everything else. So yeah, there you go. I'll see you in the next video.